Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. And we are here in the sanctuary of Plymouth Church today. Each day, I've selected a composer who has had a role to play in both organizations. And today, we move to Argentina, and the composer is Carlos Guastavino, beloved in Argentina and frankly, beloved all over South America. He composed more than 500 pieces. He was born in 1912 and died in the year 2000. He was known as the Schubert of the Pampas and had written more than 150 songs, many of them national favorites. I got to know him because in the 1980s, I was in Buenos Aires and, as is my usual custom, if I know there's a composer I want to meet, I just call them up. So he invited me to his apartment and he was a wonderful, lovely man. And after we had spent the afternoon together and I learned about a lot of his music, which I didn't know, I went to a music store in Buenos Aires and bought every piece of Guastavino that I could. One of the pieces was a set of poems that he set called Indianas, and they were songs that were taken from some of the uh, aboriginal areas of Argentina. And these six songs were then pieces that the ensemble singers of Vocal Essence have performed on several occasions. So I selected one of those to give you an idea of the beautiful sound that he makes. Here's a poem called, Who Could Be Like Jasmine? Who could be like jasmine when it begins to bloom, casting fine perfume to be in your power? To be in your power, love, who could be such a flower? Who could be like a rose in its genteel elegance, rising red in the light of a new day? To be in your power, love, who could be such a flower? Who could be a carnation, a two-colored carnation, growing in blushes and sprinkled in white? To be in your power, love, who could be such a flower? Of course, originally in Spanish, the poem by Leon Benaros. Here is Jasmine.
music of Carlos Guastavino. He was also known, besides these 150 songs, he was known for writing music for orchestra and particularly for ballet. So he did a series for the Ballet Espanol. It was performed at that magnificent opera house in Buenos Aires, the Teatro Colón, and then taken all over Europe. So the piece he then, it was a very popular piece called Sweet Argentine. And because of that, he then arranged it for piano. And I'm going to play the final movement of that suite, that his arrangement, it's called Malambo. And a Malambo is a, a, a dance that has footwork and stomping and drumming and song. And it came from a 17th century style where two gauchos would be dueling and they would do this stomping and this dancing, and that's where Malambo comes from. So here is the last movement of that sweet Argentine Malambo. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.